to avoid the all or nothingness of perfectionism, I've been working on embracing the concept of continuous renewal. By factoring in derailment as just part of the journey, I can focus my efforts on creating a toolbox of habits and choices that help me get back on my feet, not if, but when I stumble. Here are a few of my favorite ways to begin again. Number one is a 30 minute sweep. For this, I set a timer and work as hard and fast as I can on tackling one daunting task that is weighing on me. You can clean the kitchen, you can answer those emails, start the laundry, weed your garden, clean out the fridge. The possibilities here are endless. Number two is a power nap. Sometimes just a 20 to 30 minute rest can really jumpstart your energy. Number three is a change of scenery. Leaving your house or dorm room to work at a coffee shop or library can be a refreshing change that promotes creativity and productivity. Number four is a walk outside. When you feel like you're just running out of steam at 2 p.m., getting your blood pumping with a walk outside is a great mood lifter. A brisk walk can increase your alertness to help you finish out the day with more attentiveness and positivity. Number five is to do a brain dump. Write down everything that is stressing you out. It is a powerful tool for relieving mental exhaustion. Clearing your head by listing your worries and to-dos on paper creates order from chaos. The to-dos can be prioritized and scheduled into your planner, and the worries can be offered to God in prayer, leaving your mind calmed and quieted. Number six is a 3-2-1 reset. One of our favorite resets is an exercise we call 321. It consists of three deep belly breaths to help lower your cortisol levels, two Jesus prayers, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner, to help with surrendering your anxieties to Christ, and then one minute of silence to bring you back to the present moment where God and his strength abides. And then the last is number seven, reframing. When stuck in a negative mindset, reframing exercises help us view our trials, fears, and frustrations in a more positive light. Challenge yourself to recognize the potential for growth within difficult circumstances, and this will infuse them with meaning and eternal significance.